I knew when we got on the boat, leaving the dock, you know, I could tell his excitement level was a little different. And, um, and you know, I think it was the biggest thing is he knew we were going fly fishing and, and leaving the spinning gear, you know, off to the side. I think he was super excited about just kind of showing me what his world's about down there. Most of what I do uh, here in Louisiana is I, I, you know, push my clients to to redfish, and, and we try and catch them on fly. Um, it's all sight fishing, shallow water, uh, pulling the Maverick around in, in skinny water, and really not casting until you see the fish. Uh, these fish give you a lot of great opportunities in shallow water just because, you know, we can fish in grass ponds, uh, we can fish them over oyster bars that help filter out the water, which make it clean uh, and allow us to, to sight fish these monster redfish on fly. Um, generally speaking, we get a lot of opportunities. Obviously, some days are tougher than others, but, uh, you know, it's just a great place to, to sight fish for giant world-class redfish. So are they going to be, are they going to be floating on this grass up here? Yeah, I mean, they'll be pushing around in this bait, floating up on the grass. You know, what I would do is have probably 35, 40 foot of line out. That okay. way, you know, you've got enough in case we got to reach out and touch them a little bit, but yeah. most of the shots are going to be inside of 30 feet. And and for you, you were saying, make it pretty quick? Yeah, short, quick, fast tip, okay. you know, ticks, kind of get that tail moving. Yeah. And just, you know, get, you're trying to get the reaction bite out of them. You know, these fish know that if something just sits in front of them and doesn't move, that it's not natural. So you're just trying to get that reaction bite. Right. Have him yet. Oh yeah, yeah, I see him now. I see him. Good. Trip, trip, got him. Nice. Yeah, baby. There you go. That was an on target one, dude. Yeah, dude. man. <laughs> There's another one in there. Is that a that's a door? Shot. Thank you. Hey, you know what? You put it right on their face, and all of a sudden they eat it. So redfish, you know, uh, give you a few different opportunities to fish them. Today we were fishing them in uh, grass ponds. Clean water, green bottom, and when you're pulling up on these fish, I mean they look like giant goldfish in the water. Just bright orange, as orange as they can be. Sometimes they get behind stingrays, sometimes they're solo, sometimes they're in groups. Uh, but when you see them, when they're showing themselves, I mean there's no mistaking them. Pretty pretty. Yeah, man. He's all lit up on that bank. Oh, yeah. Nice. Good brother. Ah! I got him! <laughs> I got him! <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yep. Pretty. I mean, perfect specimen right there, buddy. Oh, no. Not a mark on him. All fired up and, uh, he liked that fly. He liked that fly for sure. <laughs> no doubt. Smoked it. You know, the water we were fishing had a little stain to it. And even Greg was mentioning, you know, many fly anglers in their minds, you, you got to bomb these casts uh, to be able to reach the fish without them knowing you're there. Well, in Louisiana, not the case. It's many times under 30 feet and in some cases, less than 10 feet. Oh, right here. Yep, drop it. Let it drop. Okay, leave it. A little bump. So just black through him. Yeah, it is a big one. He don't even know he's hooked yet. <laughs> oh, black drum. This is a freaking giant. Do you see him come up and eat it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's, isn't that weird, though? Like, we threw it, four or five of them, and then that one comes up and hammers it. Yeah like 10 feet from the boat. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking with Greg about, you know, some of the things we were seeing. Of course, we're seeing the redfish, but I saw a pile of black drum, and I'm not talking the little puppy drum. I'm talking giants, and a bunch of them, like, like going underneath the bow of the boat, a bunch of them, and, uh, 
And I was talking to him about, I mean, is this typical? And he's like, yeah, he says, you know, this is kind of the, the window where we'll start seeing a bunch of them in the back. And they're back there eating blue crabs. They're, you know, eating lots of shrimp, of course. And, um, you know, for me, I'm Southwest Florida guy, don't get to catch a lot of those on fly. And I don't know how anybody in their right mind could just pull right past a 30 pound black drum when I think they'll eat that fly. <laughs> I, I feel like this is walking the dog. <laughs> get out here into this open water. I mean, he's every bit 30 pounds. <laughs> It's amazing how much pressure you can put on these fish. I know. You know, the rod absorbs a lot of that, right? Absolutely. Yeah, and it's good this time of the year when it's hot. Yeah. You know, to put as much pressure on them as For you can. For sure. You know, less stress on the fish, get it back in the water quick. Ate the old game changer. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> And what's funny is, you know, we threw it at those others. They were just like, nah. Snub their nose at it. Don't want it. Of course, when they eat 10 feet from a boat, they tend know, to have right? a little bit more uh, fight in them. Absolutely. I'm coming off some. You're good. Oh, he ate it. Good night. I don't even see oh the fly. God. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Dude, that's a freaking giant. Is that your biggest black drum on For fly? sure. Yeah? Without question. I think it's probably 35 pounds. Yeah. Here, grab him. Dude. You get to get slimed up. Oh, man. yeah, thanks. <laughs> now, what weight NRX is that? Uh, that is a nine weight NRX Plus. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good one. I mean, that's a, a lot of fish for that. No doubt. <laughs> that's awesome. That's pretty, man. These are the, I think these and sheep's head are the hardest fish to feed out here. By yeah. Far. Just their eyesight's not very good. Fly's got to be in their feet face. on the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see, we get him in the water. Yeah, let's do it. Whoa! They just he gone. love, love, love the splash you're doing. I know. Dude, you're gonna, you may be riding in the back of the truck. On that <laughs> Fishing with Jay was awesome. I mean, uh, obviously he knows what he's doing. He's, he's been a guide for a long time. He knows his way around the boat. Um, you know, it was cool that we got the opportunity to, uh, you know, he, I pushed him around and then he was able to get back there and then push me around a little bit. Um, you know, we, we both know where the, where the fly needed to be or where the cast needed to be, and uh, you know, it's, it's, it's cool when you can kind of gel like that on the boat together. <laughs> Dude, that was sick. <laughs> oh, good night. Stud, too. <laughs> that was awesome. Is that what you mean by putting it in their face? It put it in the face. <laughs> Maybe spin me to the right and then yeah. uh, try and lead him through this, net, this nasty stuff. He's probably going to go right down the shoreline. Well, he was. Hold on. <laughs> Go that way. Oh, come on. All that work to get him out. <laughs> there you go. He's turned. That's a stud. Yeah. I got him. I got him. Are you sure? Yeah, I think so. Oh, God. <laughs> that's, Danny. That's a good one. That is a good one, brother. Dude. <laughs> yep. Good Lord. Dude, your fish. Oh, you got it? Lord, look at that. Look at her tail all beat up. I know. I mean, there's a reason why we switched places. <laughs>
Yeah, I appreciate the and shot, I'm, man. I'm, I'm proud of what just happened there yeah. sometimes in the game. Good team effort. Yeah, for it's sure. For sure. You know, I, I really can't thank Greg enough. You know, we, we've we been trying to put this together for a long time, and, and you know, our schedules are, you know, jam-packed, and really in the time that uh, he's down here, he's tarpon fishing and same and likewise, and, you know, to have a little window to where I could drive to Louisiana, jump on the boat with that guy, yeah, I'm ready to do it again. I hope you're ready, Greg. I would love to do this again with Jay. I had a great time. Um, I, you know, I wish him the best of luck in uh, his future episodes, and hopefully I'll get a chance to come down and uh, fish his waters at some point in the near future. Mm -hmm.